Good afternoon, everybody. Alan here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to do another video for the Four Scan playlist. Um, we are going to take off the seat belt minder for the passenger side seat. Some people do this, they do both the driver's side and the passenger side. I wear a seat belt. The only reason I am making this video is because I want to do this because. We're seasonals at the campground. We don't have a golf cart like everybody else. So when we go down to the pool or the, the basketball court or the dance or whatever, uh, we take the truck. And, you know, you're going nine miles an hour. Um, so, you know, my wife doesn't wear her seatbelt, which is fine. Um, but the chime gets annoying, so she buckles up and um, puts it behind her. So I'm just gonna take it right out of there. So without further ado, let's get this video going. Alright guys, it is a beautiful bright day here, but we are going to get this video going and if you haven't, you know, everything starts with starting up Forescan um, and getting everything going. So if you have not seen it, go check it out here and that will get you everything you need to know to get started with this software on your own. Let's get to it. OBD2. Plug it in. Plug it in. All right, and we are gonna start up Forescan, but hang on, right here, let's find out um, where I'm going. Okay, right here. Passengers, seatbelt minder said, I'll throw that up on the screen too. It's easier for you guys to see on a screenshot. And there you guys see that we are gonna do the passenger side seatbelt minder status off, and that's in the IPC. <clears throat> and it's only one line that we have to change, so it's 720-01-01. Here we go. We are going to open up Forescan. Alright, go down to the bottom here. Connect to vehicle. Uh, make sure the key is on. It's not. Now it is. I think it's in high speed. I don't really know. We'll find out. Um, click yes for the profile. Uh, set the switch to medium speed. Medium speed. Click OK. And we are good. Okay, so we go to the programming here and then we're gonna go, our sheet says, we're going to go to IPC, 720.0101. So let's go down to IPC as built. Play. Uh, here, read the warning, click OK. And then 720.01.01 is at the top here. And we need to change that. Um, third block of numbers, third number to a four. So right here, here's the third block of numbers. This is the third number here. We are gonna change that from a six to a four. Always double check, that's what I do in case you Make sure you don't want to mess anything up. So passenger side. Yep, looks like we are good. Click the right button. Incorrect check sum. Continue anyway. Yes. Get some all flashies here. Cycle the ignition. Off. Back on again. We will click OK. And then we are all done. We're going to hit stop here. We're going to, uh, yeah, go back here to the car, come down here, 
click disconnect. Now we're no longer connected. We are good. All right guys, so I wanna show you this real quick. Um, I've had this happen a couple of times now, but it like resets um, like the uh, Fahrenheit or standard uh, values and it puts them into uh, metric and Celsius. I'm not quite sure why, but if you look on the dash here, I have kilometers. So what I'll do is I'll go back through and I'll change all this stuff. I'll find out where I change it. Can't remember, of course. Um, display setup, I believe it was. Units, miles and gallons, that's good. Um, temperature, <laughs> Fahrenheit, that would be good. Um, tire pressure is still in PSI, that's good. Language is still in the US. So, um, just so you guys don't freak out, that does happen sometimes. Um, not a big deal, see even my speedo kilometers. But all you gotta do is hit OK, miles per hour. And on the screen, it's instead of 20 Celsius, it's back to 68, so. Yeah, like I had my air shut off too, and when I reset the ignition, um, it kicked down the air, it like did this weird reset, but sometimes that happens. That's the second time it's happened to me, so um, don't freak out if that happens. Just go back in, change your units. Um, I did have to change the language the last time. It was, it was I don't know, something else, um, European or something, I don't know. But anyway, don't freak out. Sometimes it does that. Um, hopefully this helped you guys out if you're looking to kill your seatbelt minder in any way. It could be you can do the passenger side, you can do the driver side, you can do both at once. There is a line of code for each one though. So if you want them both, just do the one line and it tells you what to do. If you only want the driver side, do the one it tells you in the spreadsheet. If you want the passenger side, do the one it tells you in the spreadsheet. I only wanted the passenger side. I always buckle up, not a big deal to me. It's, it's habit, I don't even think about it. So anyway, smash that like button if you have not yet. Leave me a comment if you need to and I will get back to you as soon as possible. If you like the content, if you want to subscribe for more, go ahead. I love the support from you guys and we will see you again later. Look at what we have here. You don't see this every day here in Standale, Michigan. It is a spider. Beautiful car.